Federal officials are ordering airlines to install this device on certain passenger jets and cargo planes in an effort to prevent explosions like the one that destroyed TWA Flight 800. We think that the proposal that is uh, being put forth and will be implemented beginning on Friday will go a long way to preventing the kinds of accidents that brought down uh, TWA Flight 800. All 230 people aboard that flight were killed when it went down shortly after taking off from New York back in 1996. And officials are hoping that the announcement on Wednesday will close a long and troubled chapter in federal aviation safety. Every step in the process of finding answers and creating solutions has been driven by our need to serve 230 families who simply asked, why? Officials have said the plane exploded when a short circuit ignited the center wing fuel tank. Officials say the new devices will prevent such a blast from occurring. A breakthrough system that replaces oxygen in the fuel tank with inert gas, effectively preventing the potential ignition of flammable vapors. Family members of the victims, though, are asking why it took 12 years to come up with a solution. Now, I'm disappointed that it's taken so long. I'm disappointed that the industry didn't want to really want to step up to the plate and do the right thing, and that it's taken an act from the FAA to mandate fuel tank and to make airplanes safer for all of us. Officials are now giving airlines nine years to retrofit more than 2,700 planes with the devices. Ed Donahue, The Associated Press.